Hello, I'm Nige. And I'm Anders. Welcome to the review. We're going to pitch two lagers, both of which I've never had before, and see which one's the best. Nige, that, that, I enlighten you as to what those beers are. Well, well that's a bit of a battle of the Mediterranean. I realised, well, it's Portugal part of the Mediterranean, because it's just yeah. around the corner, isn't it? But, well, yeah, but strictly kind of is, yeah. Well, we're starting with Cyprus, with Keo, uh, Keo Cypriot offering, coming in at 4.5%. Yeah, uh, I've had that once, and that was many years ago. I can't really remember much about it. Right. Okay. And we're going for Superbock from Portugal, coming in at four point seven percent. Yeah, no, oh, I've had a lot of that in Portugal. Uh, but I won't say anything about it at the moment because. Right. Okay. Let's. I tell you what. Let's not f about. No, get it in the glass. Let me get beer cam up and running. There we go. There she blows. Have you done any research on this, Anders? Absolutely none. Marvellous. Way, way, way too busy. Do you know anything about it? It's, it, yeah. It, uh, the brewery founded in 1951. Oh, because it says it on the bottle. <laughs> oh, well done. Good work. It says it at the top. Oh, I saw it somewhere. Yeah, right, right there. It says it there. So it does. Okay, a quick history of Keo for you. Proudly booed in the islands of Cyprus. On the island of Cyprus. That's all I need to know. Anyway. Right, looking at it, it's quite a pale. That's very pale. It's got very sparse bubbles in it. Yeah. And quite big bubbles. The smell I'm getting is basically just head. No, there's that. You know, we get that wet cement smell with it's not that strong. It's there. It's a very sweet wet cement smell. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Yeah, I get that. So it's not doesn't not as offensive as some that we've smelled, but the aroma doesn't actually uh, no. mean anything we have about to the go taste. In, don't we? We yeah. have to go in. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually oh. not bad. It's got quite a nice ending, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Uh, mouthfeel, it's a bit... It's a bit wet. Yeah, it's, it's a bit but, sweet. I, I, the initial, you think, uh, and then you get the... It's very pleasant, that sort of dry malt, a little, little hit with the hops at the end. That's surprising because I didn't expect that. you didn't um, you didn't say anything, but I by the way I read you, you said you'd only ever had one before, then yeah. you didn't go running back to it. No, and it was a very long time ago, and I wasn't really it's more of a glugging passion back then rather than a connoisseur passion. <laughs> okay. And I, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it. Uh but I'm a, more, a bit more finely tuned yeah. to, to my beers now. And uh, I'm getting things from this I never got that time. Yeah, but like you say, right at the back end, there's a nice bitterness there, isn't there? Yeah, like it's quite dry. But sweet up front, dry finish, which is it's actually not bad. Right, okay. Um, this has become a struggle. Um, this turned very quickly. Yeah. It's become very sweet, unbearably sweet towards the end, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, uh, the bitterness is still there. And it saves it a little bit, but not a but lot. The, the, it's overpowered. It's, it's just not nice. The first two or three sips were, were, were gorgeous. I really enjoyed it. I thought, I must have been mistaken last time I had this. Yeah. 
And I sort of got thought, nah, this is why I've not had it again. <laughs> it's um I mean mine was only only out of the fridge for ten minutes before we started, but I'm just wondering if the warmth is oh, the... making a difference. This is quite dreadful, actually. <laughs> My recommendation with the uh, Keo. Oh, hello. Oh. Is is drink the, that much of it and chuck the rest away. Or don't buy in the first place. Don't buy in the first place. That's an even better suggestion. Yeah. Um, uh, but you, you were mentioned just when we were when we first went into the break. We we're talking yeah. about there was a hint of lemon there with the, which was, which was pleasant. Yes. Very pleasant. It's now sort of dirty lemon, washing up liquid lemon. <laughs> yeah, but it, it hasn't even got a class of a washing up liquid. No. It, it's, it's. I'll tell you what it is. It's the washing up liquid that had l lemon in it, but has been soaked with dirty plates. And oh, that's dreadful. That ri oh. Ay, 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 ay. It comes to something when drinking a beer makes your lips go like a cat sphincter. <laughs> um, right, right, next. Next is the Superbock. Again, another beer that I have never had. Um, I'm, I'm furiously... I, I try and do this discreetly, but I'm not really. I'm, I'm just trying to get... The, just trying to put beer, beer cam, cam on. on. Yeah, so there we go. It's there. Let's get it into the glass. It's up and running. Let's go. <clears throat> now, as I say, I've had absolutely, I've done absolutely no investigation into these beers. Um, do you I know anything know. about Superbock? I know when I was in holiday in Portugal, you can get this everywhere. Can you? Okay. And I drank it everywhere. <laughs> got a it's got a big head on it now when i was drinking in that's interesting it's ever so slightly darker than the, the yeah and the bubbles are bigger than i remember i remember having the mouth feel always seemed really tiny bubble feel really okay yeah but anyway this this is what the aroma's like Um, Not very much. faint, actually. Pavement, pardon, pavement, pavement, Cement, that sort of thing, but yeah, really, really faint, really faint. Oh, I'm getting a bit stronger now, yeah, not much, just that, no. yeah, very subdued. Cheers, Kim Jin. Oh. already that feels more rounded it feels more complete do you, do you see what i mean I mean about the the fine bubble thing yes it's very pleasant isn't it it is lovely yeah um quite malty mm -hmm. quite a malty lager It is, but it's not, say, as malty as Estrella, because that's quite... No. that's true. It, again, it's going back to the, the old graphic equaliser thing. Yes. But this is quite balanced. It's, there's nothing jumping out. Mm -hmm. It's... It's just there. Oh, I, I, I think it's very pleasant it really is it is nice it is oh it reminds me of hmm what does it remind me of i think it might be reminding me of the 
Chin Dao. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Chin Dao. Chin Dao. Had, had a, that had a bigger bubbly feel, though. Mm. I, that's, I'm not being very scientific there. But so it, wasn't, you're right. it wasn't as smooth. It wasn't as smooth. Mouthful. But taste wise, very similar. Yes. Yeah. Similar. yeah. Yeah. And really, really, really quite pleasant. Uh, this is proving much easier to get through than the Keo. Yeah, it, it's easier to drink. The Keo, we actually had to have a break between the drinks because we were just so, so bloated from that first yeah, one. Really? Uh, yeah. This one is just it's smooth it's going back it's a lot easier drinking much yeah. easier uh i think hot weather that's what you want isn't it something you can just yeah and it's it's got a it's got a there's a, a certain it's weird because it's a lager but there's a warmth to the taste and i don't mean as in heat but there's a warmth there's just yeah. It's just it's, a nice it's there isn't it it's just, yeah, it's yeah. nothing extreme about this it's just it ambles it's comforting it's warm it, it's and you notice something and as soon as you said it i got it yeah which was once you've gone once once it's gone from your mouth it hangs around on the back of the neck back of the throat more than back of the neck 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 oh. um <laughs> sherry yeah i'm getting sherry it's just yeah. hanging around in the back of the throat yeah it definitely is there just that faint ghosting off it in the background very faint yeah oh yeah so in summation i think we can both wholeheartedly agree if you're looking for a winner don't get that. Don't get the Kia. Don't. I, I wouldn't even waste time trying that. Unless you just want to drink that bit and pour the rest away. The then you'll have a pleasant experience. But. A bit of a waste though. Yeah. But. If anybody's tried this. And likes it. Let us know. Let us know. Honestly. Were we missing something? I don't know. Yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, that one. If you in see it, minds. if you've ever been on holiday in Portugal, you would have had this. Yeah. Uh, if you've not, you don't have to go to Portugal to get it. We got ours in Morrison's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so actually, we got both the Morrison's, didn't we? Both the role. Actually, oh. we did. Yes, indeed. Morrison's. What a selection. Still my number one place. Yes. Uh, and 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 near to me, the Morrison's got. The log's in a great big, huge fridge. Oh. It's, it's 12 foot of fridge, man. All full of lagers. Yeah. And some fruit-based beverages for the women, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the fridge. No. no. Um, anyway, right. so that's been lovely. Let's draw this one to an end. Um, yep. It's um, always been, it's always a pleasure. Um, thank you. What do I normally like, comment, and subscribe? That's it. I was just waiting for that before I can say bye bye. Bye.